Hello, this is Madeline Scott Spencer, and welcome to Introduction to ZBrush. In this series of lectures, I'm going to give you a complete guided tour of the ZBrush toolset. It's my intention that a complete beginner user can complete the series of lectures and be an intermediate ZBrush user. We'll begin by taking a look at the basics of the ZBrush interface, and we're going to learn that by creating a ZBrush sculpture using a polysphere. We're going to sculpt a character bust, learn about navigation, the brushes, and the basic tool sets. From there, I'm going to give you a complete look at the ZBrush interface, so all the nuances that might trip up a brand new user, you'll understand and be able to really integrate and use effectively. We'll move on to the specifics of working with Z tools and imported objects, as well as subtools and using transpose to move tools around, as well as pose our characters. We'll discuss organic sculpting inside of ZBrush, taking an in-depth look at the brush menu and understanding how the brushes work together and how you can find your favorite brushes to use in your own sculptures. We're also going to look at how we can create hard surface models inside of ZBrush using very specific tools like the clip brush, trim, planar brush. We're also going to look at how you can create geometry inside of ZBrush using the new Z Modeler tools. We're also going to explore nano mesh and array meshes in depth, showing you how you can take instance geometry and then create complex objects from just basic building blocks. We're also going to see some of the specialized mesh creation tools like ZSketch and ZSpheres, as well as uh, Shadowbox and the mesh extraction tools. We're also going to talk about building new topology directly inside of ZBrush. So you can take your models that you've created with DynaMesh and then turn them into an animatable topology for use outside of ZBrush. We're also going to take an in-depth look at painting inside of ZBrush. We're going to look at polypaint. We're also going to look at how you can use the spotlight tools to paint and project photo reference onto your models directly inside of ZBrush. The lessons will close with a complete in-depth look at materials and lighting inside of ZBrush. We're going to explore some of uh, my favorite materials to use inside of ZBrush, as well as HDR lighting within ZBrush so you can create incredibly immersive lighting schemes directly inside the program. We're also going to look at the Keyshot Bridge so you can take your ZBrush models and then render them outside in the new Keyshot rendering program. So let's go ahead and get started.